Good morning, uh, Year 9, and uh, welcome to a new thing I'm trying. Hello from Sunny Conservatory. And look at the rose that I've grown. It's amazing. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is do some more topics, and I'm going to video myself going through key points on them on a big A3 sheet, and hope this helps. It'll be kind of like a slightly faster version of what we're doing in class, but it's a video, so you can always pause it. Right. Averages are what I want to cover this week. Single data, very easy. Mean, get the total divided by the number of numbers. Median, order them lowest to high and find the middle. If you get two middles, find the middle of a middle. And mode, uh, simply the most common, the one that occurs the most. So if I had this data here, the mean, Total is 57 divided by 10, because there are 10 numbers, is 5.7. The mode, the one that occurs the most, is 6. And the median, get all my data in order, go to the middle, and the middle of 6 and 6 is uh, 6. So the median is 6. There you go. So that's fairly simple, finding single data. Um, now, what you're going to be covering in your exams is grouped data. There are two types of group data. This is discrete whole number data where you've just got, let's look at the number of chickens, okay? Uh, and then in a little while we'll, we'll cover a different type of data. So, mean of group data. Let's say we had um, 21 days, three weeks, where we went for our isolation walk and on our walk we counted the amount of chickens that we saw. So first thing you do in all group data is visualize. So this means on two days we didn't see any chickens. Sad times. Five days we saw one, ten days we saw two, three days we saw one, and one special lucky day we saw four chickens. So 21 days, these are how many chickens we saw. Okay, how many times we saw this many chickens. So if I saw no chickens on two days, that's no chickens in total. If I saw one chicken on five days, that's five chickens. Ten days I saw two chickens. Three days I saw three chickens. So what I've done here is multiplied across to get the total chickens that I saw. So I saw 38 chickens in total on my 21 days. So if I were to get the mean, I'll get the total chickens and I would divide it by the total days. So on average I saw 1.8 chickens a day. It's a mean average, you can have a decimal because obviously you can't immediately relate a mean to real life, you didn't get 0.8 of a chicken. Um, so I've got the total divided by how many. The mode, the mode is the most common number of chickens. Well on 10 days I saw two chickens. So I saw two chickens more often than I saw any other number. So the mode is 2. And the median, now I've got 21 values, right? 21 days. And if I were to get those 21 days and have 0, 0, then 5 ones, then 10 twos, then 3 threes, try it, write it out if you want, in a big long line, and then find the middle, I've got 21. Well, if I had one to it to get 22, and divide that by 2, I'd get the 11th number along. So to get the 11th number along, the first 2 are 0, the first 7 are 0 and 1, because there's 5 and 2 there, the first 17 are 0, 1 and 2. So the 11th value would be a 2. If I were to write out all this data, the 11th one would be a 2. So the median is a 2. OK, now final bit of group data, what happens if they do this? And they've got the data and they've grouped it into this. So what this is saying is say we've measured the height of chickens that we've seen. We've got two days where the chickens, two chickens, hang on, right, we've got two chickens that are between 0 and 10 centimetres. That H is for height, and it means it can equal 0, or couldn't equal 0, it wouldn't be a chicken then, would it? Up to equal to 10. Four chickens were between 10 and 20 centimetres. 
three were between 20 and 30 and one was between 30 and 40 centimeters so that's 10 chickens that we measured the height of okay now i don't know the height of those two chickens i know it was between 0 and 10 but i forgot to record it so what could i assume two chickens they were between 0 and 10 why don't i assume that they were both five why don't I assume these four chickens that were between 10 and 20 were all at 15? And these three chickens were all at 25. This one was 35. We call this the midpoint because it's the middle. So I've got two chickens that I've assumed weigh 5 centimetres each. So their total height would be 10. Four chickens weighing 15 centimetres each. If I was to stack them on top of each other, imagine that. I'd have 60 centimetres, three 25s, one times 35. So this is the total height of all my chickens. If I managed to get all my 10 chickens and I stacked them all on top of each other, there'd be 180 centimetres and there are 10 of them. So to calculate the mean, you would simply do 180 divided by 10, which is 18. There should be a centimetres on there. Okay, 18 centimetres on average. To get the mode, let's do the mode. The mode is the category that occurred the most. So I've got four of my chickens are between 10 and 20 centimetres. So I can't give a value. So what we say is we say it's the modal class interval. So the modal class interval is between 10 and 20 because that occurred the most often. Okay, and the median, I've got 10 values. So the median is my fifth value along. So the first two values were in this category. The first six values, because that's two and four, were from zero to there. So first two were here, the next four are here. So the fifth value must be in this category. So again, I would just put that category, okay? All right, excellent. Well, um, I'll set you some other videos to watch to make sure you get more practice on this and some questions as well. Uh, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mr. Rose.